Oh, uh, all right. Well, since this is pretty much what I'm doing today, I'm gonna show you. Ow, fuck that hurt. Uh, rule of thumb: don't keep nails laying under feet. All right. Uh, this series, I'm gonna be showing y'all how to install the. I kind of have it taped down, but I'm gonna show y'all how to install the uh, Pulse VU 2X by SickMods.com. Dot net actually it's a very great <laughs> microchip I mean one of the most impressive ones I've seen built by a company a small one that is sick mods isn't that big but they large enough to build their own microchips so I'm be showing you guys how to install it since the only diagrams there are anywhere on the internet are just the sick mods diagram I mean that's it. I have it on my phone right now. I don't know if you can see it. Hold on. Enter my password. And I'll go to the internet and I have it stored. That's the only diagram that's available anywhere on the internet of how to install this bitch. So, it may be a little confusing to you guys and not very many people out here have it. So, I'm, I guess I'm probably like one in one, 100 or so. Uh, one of my coworkers has it, but I'm just showing you guys how to install it in different parts. It, I know it would seem easier to just make it one big video, but I'm gonna do it in separate videos. Each one has, each wire has a different video, so it will have a lot of parts to it. I'm just untape that real fast. Okay, first thing you're gonna want to do when you get this, I suggest mounting it on the top of your motherboard here, not the bottom. I tried mounting it on the bottom and uh that didn't work because it lifted it up off the chassis so i mean these the plugs wouldn't even fit in there so you need to mount it on top unless you're using uh 30 gauge wire 30 gauge wire you might be able to put it on bottom but i really don't suggest you use 30 gauge i'm using 26 right now 26 is a mixture between 30 and 24 basically it can carry more current than 30 but not as it's not as thick and it's durable but it's not as thick as 24 so I suggest getting yourself a lot of length of 26 gauge wire from sick mods it's really cheap I only got 10 feet for two dollars and fifty cents and trust me that shit goes fast I got 10 feet. I used it in about three days. So, all right. So get yourself some 26 gauge wire, your Pulse VU, and um, you can get started. Mount it on the top of your motherboard here. The first thing you're gonna do. My camera is pretty shitty. Yeah, you can't even see that, can you? Wow, it's so blurry. Uh, but right there. Well, this green wire right here that I'm moving that's the SW wire so that's what you can control to change modes like say you wanted it to fade while your 360 was off fade your ROL here it can fade all those lights it, it changes modes basically and there are four options you can use for the SW button you can use the power button right well fuck I don't even know um, yeah, you can wire it to the back of this to use your power button to change modes. I don't suggest that because you'll have to turn your console off and you can use your eject button here, which will also, you'll have to basically reset your console. So what I suggest doing is using the sync button right here so you can do it in game in whatever in movies whatever you fucking want you can do it in there fourth option which none of you will even be doing I didn't even choose to do it is you can build your own switch with a microchip so you can build your own switch and wire it to it so no one here is going to do that but okay so get yourself your wire and use your trusty soldering iron here my little, I don't even know, 25 watt. And you're going to solder some wire to that SW point right there on the board. Wow, this is a shitty camera. And you're going to run your wire. Get off me, tape. You're going to run your wire.
across the motherboard, making sure to not get in the way of anything. Of course, not your heat sinks. And keep in mind that your fan shroud is going to come to about right there. So I kind of squeeze the wire around the fan shroud. And just keep in mind where all your stuff's going to be. Now, the drive will go in here, but the wire won't affect anything because of the heat sink. It lays on top of that and the shroud, so it'll be fine. Oh, fuck. Who's calling me? Sorry. Hold on. Text message. Alright, screw him. Okay, you're going to run your wire to uh, about right here where your sync button is. And, okay. Yeah. You're going to want to strip the wire. Okay? So, take a pair of tweezers and whatever, wire strippers, whatever you have. Wow, this is a really shitty camera. And, okay, so you're going to want to solder the point... Uh, first of all, hold your motherboard up to where the fan placement is down and there's an opening at the bottom. Okay, all your power plug is down on the bottom right, AV's on the bottom left, and Ethernet's on the bottom left. Just so you guys know. Okay, so if you're holding it like this, you're going to want to solder the, the 26 gauge wire to, well, first of all, you see these four points right here? Kind of blurry, but yeah, you can see them. Those four points. You're going to want to solder your wire to the top left. That's the sync SW button. That will, Once you solder that, it will control the changing of your modes. Okay? So, uh, first of all, you're going to do that. And, uh, let's see, 6 minutes and 40 seconds. I guess I have time to explain the other one. Okay, so... If you need any more clearance on that, just comment, and I'll help you out as best I can. I know I'm kind of rushing through it. So, yeah. Just if you have any questions on the SW button, go ahead and ask me. This video is seven minutes already, so i got to do this other one quick. Okay, the next one you're going to do is AL. Okay, it's the first pad on your Pulse VU. It says AL, and you're going to want to solder your 26-gauge wire to that pad. It's always what you want to do. And then you're going to want to measure it. Flip your board over to where your USBs are facing you on the bottom left. Okay. Now you're going to go under here, under the AV cable. And there. Oh shit, I'm running out of time here. Okay. Wow, that's really blurry. It looks like there's five rows. Wait, no, okay. You, on this screen here you see those four rows of very 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 blurry dots and you're gonna go to the second row down fourth one over and that is your AL soldering spot solder your uh, 26 gauge wire to that bot second row fourth column okay that's gonna be your AL wire then once you have it soldered there and still making sure you have it soldered over here and it's not detached that should be working okay so next video since I'm kind of running out of time here I'll show you all how to connect probably two other of the pads the AR and the PO switches and the next two L1 L2 and positive and negative so yeah just again if you have any questions on the SW there or on the AL back here just feel free to comment and I'll get back to y'all